So it has been basically two days, a couple days since I put my best of 2017 up, which of course means we're going to have to go to the other end. The thing that really makes me question, well, why do they bother with <laughs> making some of these movies? Because these movies are fucking bad. These are the worst seven movies of 2017. I couldn't quite give you a top 10 list. I can't even give you some dishonorable mentions. I think I really had to hunt for the seventh movie as well. And that's a good sign. I mean, I saw pretty much everything that came out in my cinema. I saw up to 90 films this year and there was really only six of these seven movies that I came out and I was like, that's pretty fucking bad. So, I mean, that's a good thing. If we can get six of 19, like one out of 15 movies is just trash is a, is a very good percentage. So, I mean, that's something to get away with the year, but we're going to talk about some fucking stinkers right now. Coming in at number seven is Geostorm. I honestly think I was a little bit uh, generous in my review of this movie. It it did the same bullshit that we'd seen, you know, before and before and before and before and before and before and before. And it just gave me a movie that is super forgettable, uh, super... I wouldn't say boring, but just dumb action scenes that we've seen a hundred times before. And that really all this movie is, the shit we've seen before. And I, again, I say I'm very generous because I, I when first watching it, I was like, okay, it's not that bad. But I, as, as thought about the time passing, I was like, yeah, no, it's pretty bad. Saying that though, this is the one on the list that I just felt bad about putting on the list. I had to get at least seven out. I think I, I felt like there was more than five. And not quite 10. So I, I thought I'd go for 7. And these next 6 coming up are definitely real bad movies. And 6, coming at 6, is Triple X, The Return of Xander Cage. This movie was very on early in the year. This is very, very early, January. And, you know, it didn't start off the year well. I, I watched this and it's just forgettable, bad action scenes. Shot poorly, shitty story, poorly acted. Pretty much everything you can think out of a bad action movie, you've gotten this movie, and there's no way I'm buying this movie or watching it again. It is something that no one really ever needs to watch or go out and watch, ever. Moving on to number five. Transformers The Last Night, and I'm hoping it is The Last Night because I can't remember these fucking names because there's too many Transformers movies, and that's the biggest problem here. There's too many fucking Transformers movies. This movie is probably one of the weirdest told stories. It is follow some weird ass fucking plot about knights and transformer form and they shoot it really badly, tell a really poor story. The only saving grace of this movie is Mark Wahlberg and even then it's just Mark Wahlberg. I do like Mark Wahlberg but if you don't you're screwed. I think you have a fucking terrible time with this movie. I think they just need to stop making them. I don't think this movie was even close to good. I think there's literally the other spectrum and again I've spoken about these other action movies. This falls in the same category of shitty action movies that are very forgettable. And another shitty action movie that is very forgettable. Number four, Resident Evil 6. The final chapter, I want to say, is the title of this movie, and I hope it is. I'm hoping it's the final chapter. Now, I did put the, the Resident Evils to bed, and I'm so glad, because this is probably the worst movie of all the year. The, the cinematography in this is actually piss poor. You really can't tell what's happening in the scenes like 90% of the time in this movie. It is fucking awful. Anytime there's an action scene, like fucking dude is like flipping the camera and shit. It's really bad. It is everything else we'd seen in Resident Evil but done shitter. It is any other action movie but done shitter. So again, these this is, you know, four movies that are just shitty, forgettable action movies and that seems to be the theme of this year. But we've got a few non-action movies coming into our top three. And top three we got the Emoji Movie. This is probably a lot of people's number ones, but I, I take a little bit of saving grace towards uh, animation movies because I know they are based at kids. And I know it's no excuse because this movie was pretty fucking bad, but it's just a dumb idea for starters. The Emoji Movie is just like, why bother? Like who designed this idea? You never got really anything funny out of this movie. Yeah, maybe kids enjoyed it slightly, but come on, like lift your game higher than this. Again, I give a little bit of, a little bit of a like a slight asterisk. And I know they're trying to make it for kids, but I know you can do a fucking better than than that. And I know Coco just did a great fucking kids movie, and it's an animation, so you can shut the fuck up. Moving on to number two, and we have the exact same thing I just said. I know it's for kids, but it's fucking bad. And that is the new Die of the Wimpy Kid: The Long Haul. 
I really enjoyed it. These are guilty pleasures of the, the, the first trilogy. I really did enjoy it. And then they do this bullshit and really get me riled up. In that review, you guys know that I get fucking riled up about these dumb movies because they're just so dumb. It is not funny. It is so poorly told, so poorly acted. These characters are so shitty. It's just pretty much everything you can do wrong in a family-friendly movie is what Die of the River Kid the Long Haul did. I recommend no one ever seeing this movie and if you bought it, I will come to your house personally and smash the disc. So just comment below and I'll um, come over and destroy it for you. You're welcome. And the number one, the shittest movie of 2017, in my personal opinion, uh, in my mind, nothing came as bad as this movie was and this isn't even a kid's movie or an acted movie. This is Snatched. Amy Schumer needs to leave, leave Hollywood as soon as possible. She's a joke-stealing motherfucker. I don't know. Didn't know where we were going with that one. But this movie is awful. She is not funny. This movie was not funny. This movie is so shittily told. It has such a basic dumb plot of them just getting kidnapped and then trying to make jokes out of it because it's like, no, oh, my life's threatening. I could die at any second when I sit there making shitty jokes because I'm Amy Schumer. Shut the fuck up. Never watch this movie. Do not bother with seeing this movie. It is abysmal um and I'm, i think i'm being a little bit nice to it by calling it abysmal i think this movie is awful and that's as simple as put as it's just fucking awful thank you guys for watching my list of worst movies of 2017 pretty much all these movies i talked quickly about because there's really not much to say other than they're bad and i know they're bad because i have reviews about them where i talk for three or four minutes saying they're fucking bad so if you guys want to check them out and you go no it couldn't be that bad you don't really say why Check them shit out, because that I'll explain why these movies uh, are awful. I, any movie on this list, do not buy. That is a statement. If you see a movie on this list, don't go, oh, I'll try it, see how bad it is. You'll regret it. Do not. Maybe J.S. Tom. That's the only one I'll give you, if you like Gerard Butler. But the other, the other six, definitely a no-go. Again, thank you guys for watching uh, my review. Not review, my video. Uh, I, I suppose they are all reviews of these, of these movies. Hopefully we, obviously there's always going to be stinkers, but hopefully we have less stinkers next year. Um, as I said, it's actually kind of a less, lesser year for stinkers than compared to the last year. I think the last year had a lot more worse movies. I think this movie year of movies has been pretty good. And you guys can check out my best list to kind of clear your mind if you haven't already and go, oh, does he have a best list? Oh, that's going to make me feel a bit happier. Check that one out right now because these movies just suck. Thank you guys for watching. You can press that subscribe button if you haven't already. You can like. You can comment below, maybe what's your most movie of the year. If any of these movies you'd agree with, maybe not as much. I'd be very surprised, but I don't know. Have a good one, guys.